Hi, my name is Jesse Betancourt, and my presentation will be on uh, the decline in the population of Chinook salmon in the Pacific Ocean. Um, introduction. Um, the Chinook salmon is also, also known as the king salmon. Um, it is an anadromous fish, meaning that it returns to the same spawning ground um, to spawn and then dies. Um, it's very important in the food chain. It is not only prey to um, many fish, marine mammals, and some land mammals um, and birds as well. Um, it's also it also preys on many uh, species. Um, in this way, it's really ecologically important, especially because it's not just um, a fish that spends time in the ocean, but in rivers as well. Um, there's many areas throughout the Pacific that are known as evolutionary important area areas for Chinook salmon, and they are they represent like a breeding population. Um, and there's many threats to the species. Um, river dams cause serious detriment to the populations of salmon and um, along with the rebounding of large marine mammals that prey on them uh, and overfishing as well. There's several causes for uh, detriment. Uh, my research question uh, was, has there been a decline in the population of Chinook salmon in the Pacific Ocean? And my hypothesis was that if the mass of Chinook salmon caught by commercial fishermen in the Pacific has declined, then the population of Chinook salmon has declined as well. Um, methods. Data was collected by the National Marine Fisheries Service, which is through NOAA. Um, and the study site was the U.S. Pacific Coast, specifically Oregon, Washington, and uh, California. Um, and it's data from 1950 to 2017 from commercial fisheries. Um, the main ones that I used were weight, which was originally in pounds, which I converted to kilograms in revenue in U.S. dollars per year. Uh, for data analysis, I used uh, descript descriptive statistics um, like mean minimum maximum and standard deviation uh, I did one linear regression between year as the um, X variable and same way as the Y in a second linear linear regression um, between year and revenue in US dollars um, Results in descriptive statistics, um, and this was over salmon weight in kilograms. Um, minimum was 2,250,500.31 kilograms. Maximum was 17,060,988.3 uh, kilograms. Mean was 7,262,000. Um, 869 kilograms and standard deviation was 3 million two hundred fifty eight thousand eight hundred eight uh, hundred and ten point four eight kilograms um, and the results of the linear regressions um, in the first linear regression found that there was a negative um, relationship between year and uh, kilograms of salmon caught by commercial fishermen. Um, as year, which would be the X variable, increases by 1, salmon weight, uh, which is Y, decreases by 107,606.05 kilograms. And the R squared, which is the percent variation of uh, all values to this line, was 0.426, which would be point or that would be 42.6% variation. Um, the second linear regression um, as year, which was X, increases by 1. Salmon revenue, which is Y, increases by 334,828.4 point 
seven hundred or seven seven three US dollars. Um and the R squared for this one would be point one nine three, which is um equates to uh nineteen point three percent. Um because of the results of regression one, I reject my null hypothesis, which would be that there is uh no change in like or no dependency on the um year with the amount of salmon that was caught um because the the salmon uh weight decreased over from 1950 uh to 2017 there was like a clear um wave showing that there was less salmon in the water um because less were being caught. And the positive trend in regression too, between year and uh, US dollars, was most likely because of increased prices per pound due to scarcity. Um, there's plenty that people are looking into to fix this um, problem in the decline. There's some of these um, evolutionary important areas have gone uh, close to farly endangered or um they're very threatened and then uh people have have thought about releasing more salmon into the environment um to kind of boost the population